After launching a new Devotion makeup collection, Dolce & Cabana released a new fragrance with the same name. Is Devotion something you would enjoy? How does it smell and perform? And would you like it? Well, wait until the end and you will find out. And hello everyone, my nickname is Miri. Welcome to my channel. And before the scent profile, I will tell you just a little bit about its inspiration. The entire line is adorned with the motive of the sacred heart, a tiny symbol that represents love in all its forms and that metal motive reminds me of the movie Romeo plus Juliet from 1996 with Leonardo DiCaprio because the poster has a similar vibe together with a fiery radiating heart decorated with flowers. The master perfumer behind this fragrance is Olivier Crasp, famous for other gourmand perfumes such as Lancome La Vie Belle and Yves Saint Laurent Black in this perfume, Olivia Crisp wanted to create a scent that would be irresistibly delicious like a famous Italian dessert, panna cotta. Therefore, the campaign was filmed in Positano, Italy, and the whole ad is just amazing, vibrant, playful, and feminine. The end of the ad is striking with a hot guy throwing his heart to Katy Perry and that is what devotion should be a perfume you'll give your heart to but is it and how does it smell the initial spray smells exactly like what it's described it smells like candied lemons but there's a lot of bitterness interlaced with a sugary crystallized aroma and vivid fizzy zesty citrusy scent you also got tiny hints of something bitter, green and spicy. And at first I even thought there is a note of ginger or neroli here because you got that spicy, boozy like green leafy note in the background. I would describe the opening of this fragrance as the scent of candied lemon peel which is citrusy, bitter and sugary sweet at the same time or even like the scent of lemon jelly fruit slices you dipped in ginger tea. This is the scent and the opening is my favorite part of this fragrance. It's divine, it's bitter, it's sweet but bright and warm and I just wish it lasted longer. After about 20 minutes the scent becomes more vanilla prominent and you also get a honeyed orange blossom with some light booziness. Orange blossom never steals the show, you can smell it but it's not a main player and vanilla is the most dominant note in the heart and dry down. The combination of orange blossom and boozy rum reminds me of the orange liqueur scent while the candid citrusy note from the opening still lingers in the background. And in the heart of devotion you get an interesting note of panna cotta which is made out of custard flavored with vanilla and set with gelatin to give it like a wobble. <laughs> But here imagine you've mixed orange liqueur in that custard while making panna cotta. So the heart smells like vanilla orange liqueur panna cotta with candied lemon shavings and some powdery sugar. The vibrant smell of lemon and orange blossom gradually softens and the dry down is all about vanilla. The scent becomes sweeter and a bit flat compared to the dynamic opening and heart. Vanilla here is very soft but it has a powdery quality so devotion just becomes increasingly powdery, sweeter and fuller as it dries down but it still manages to be soft and caressing. So in the end this smells like you've eaten panna cotta with candied lemons and all that's left are some traces of powdered sugar. This is the dry down. It's not as interesting or strong as the top and middle notes. And people describe this fragrance with like thousands of possible lemon vanilla gourmand delicacies and I can see why. So some say this reminds them of the baked lemon bar with powdered sugar, others say this is the scent of a fluffy lemon vanilla cream, to some this is scent of lemon sugar cookies, lemon vanilla tartlet, lemon macaron, orange creamsicle or limoncello cream. But to me after the first 20 to 30 minutes of the wear that beautiful note of 
candied lemon slowly dissipates so for most of the wear this is a vanilla dominant fragrance and you can smell straight up vanilla but also vanilla in its very powdery form. That's why I described Devotion as the scent of vanilla panna cotta with some candied lemon shavings and powdery sugar aspects. I wanted to describe it as accurately as possible and I guess because you got a ton of vanilla, I guess you could describe this as the scent of vanilla cupcake with lemon frosting as well, but mostly I don't agree with those descriptions as a devotion as some sort of a gourmand lemon dominant delicacy because after the opening, this is a vanilla fragrance. Also, those descriptions gave me false expectations. I thought devotion would be a very heady, very sticky, dense gourmand orange creamsicle type of fragrance but compared to other similar lemon vanilla perfumes i own or have tried this one is lighter airier with some green spicy bitter edge in the opening and it's much more powdery in the dry down so it doesn't become a dense gourmand perfume in the dry down but rather like a fluffy powdery vanilla scent with some light slightly citrusy freshness but only in a tiny tiny small amount so don't expect this to be a very dense syrupy sweet heavy gourmand or very long lasting tart lemon but what i really like about devotion is the mood it sets me in and i guess i'm a bit influenced by the ad because the sugar covered lemons and honeyed orange blossoms have this solar rain they make me feel optimistic, playful and uplifted, although not as summery as you would expect from the ad. This is a scent of a vacation in Tuscany. You're in some small Italian cafe drinking lemonade and enjoying vanilla panna cotta. Although it gives me such a vibe, I would wear Devotion only in colder months and I could see this as an amazing holiday perfume because it has coziness and a sensation of baked goods, so I think it would be very versatile for wearing. I like it quite a bit, so my rating for its scent profile is 8.5 out of 10. Devotion has enormous projection and sellage for the first two hours. It fills a room, it leaves a strong trail and you don't need more than two sprays. But after two, three hour mark when the dry down starts and the scent becomes more a powdery vanilla type of fragrance, projection isn't that strong and this becomes a subtle skin scent. Longevity is moderate, it lasts about 5-6 to six hours, which is really decent and what is really important, you will get compliments with it. My co-workers told me I smell like a cake or like a vanilla delicacy when I wore it to work, so there you go. It is a compliment getter and my rating for its performance is 6.5 out of 10. Did you get compliments while wearing Devotion? And write down in the comment section what you your experience wearing this perfume was and also like this video and subscribe so you don't miss other videos I plan to upload in the future and that also helps me a lot as a content creator but what to keep in mind before purchasing devotion the first negative point is the powdery scent because on some people powdery dry down becomes very pronounced and overpowering so if you don't like powdery aspects of vanilla don't buy by devotion try it out first and then decide whether or not you will buy it and I must say that the dry down is a bit disappointing it's mostly just a powdery vanilla scent so if you like more complex perfumes with a lot of development devotion might be a bit too simple or flat for you and the second negative point is it has youthful vibe if you usually like fresher lighter floral perfumes devotion might be a bit too sweet for you even though it's not sticky syrupy or sugary sweet but that sweetness and candied aroma might smell to you a bit childish and less grown up and less mature <laughs> compared to other perfumes you're used to but i personally like that playfulness and cheerfulness this perfume offers 
And now positive points. First one is this has a niche scent profile. So far, lemon vanilla combination was something reserved only for niche perfumes such as Zezef Lira, Acrobaic, Kerosene Unknown Pleasures, Theodorus Calatinis, Lemon Tart, Profumum Roma, Dulcis in Fundo, Exidolo, Love and Crime, and House of Silage Hufflepuff just to name a few but now you can get something similar at the designer price and in a more available perfume form also it's noteworthy that olivia hasp who launched bake for his own brand acro created this perfume with a similar inspiration in mind and that is lemon vanilla cake and the second positive point this is a relatively safe blind buy i think it is very likable 90 percent of people will like it yes not everyone will fall in love with it and go and purchase it right away but most people will say oh this is very nice and they will compliment you on your fragrance when you wear it even if you dislike vanilla and citrus notes try it out because it is very pretty yes it's nothing new but it's well done fragrance if you're a gourmand lover if you love vanilla in all its forms and sweet powdery perfumes this will be a pretty safe and very enjoyable choice for you. Also, it's a crowd pleaser and it smells like perfume even though it has gourmand nuances, but it never smells foody or exactly like food. If you're just starting on your fragrance journey and you haven't tested any niche perfumes, you will think Devotion is amazing because, well, it is great and there is no other designer fragrance with a lemon vanilla gourmand scent that I know of and truth be told this is one of the best designer releases last year in my opinion. I absolutely recommend it especially if you want to smell like a vanilla cupcake with lemon frosting. I've tried layering Dolce & Gabbana Devotion with the new Yves Saint Laurent Lib L'Absolu Platine and the combination is absolutely amazing because the version gives sweetness to l'absolu platine while this one adds lavender musky ground so it's very very intoxicating and i've tried to layer devotion with killian's i don't need the prince by my side to be a princess because they're both vanilla lemon perfumes but here you get a lot of green tea and ginger and those notes just amplify bitter green spicy nuances in the opening of devotion combination is amazing so try it out if you can and this perfume is great as well so have you tried any layering combination with devotion share your recommendations i would love to try them out and three words or adjectives i would describe devotion with would be panna cotta with lemons my overall rating for its scent profile and performance is 7.5 out of 10. And if you want to see my in-depth review of the new addition to the Yves Saint Laurent Lib range L'Absolu Platine, then check out this video. I will see you there. Bye!